a really busy month in regards to operations. Um, on the administration side, a lot of the focus still was put on to, uh, you know, getting these concept designs for Water for Green, Ritchie Wharf, uh, get the starting of the uh, south side splash pad uh, discussion started, um, as well as some uh, policy changes in regards to uh, ice allocation, as well as um, the accessibility policy, which we expect to bring back to council in the near future. I believe uh, it's on the agenda, I think, for the 28th. Uh, for committee council to be able to try to get that moved up and get approved um, on the programs and special events like I said July is our busy month in the summertime in regards to programming um, and special events uh, we offer various programs uh, for youth in the city as well as seniors and families um, you know just to highlight some of our programs for this year we have our uh, day camp program um, our summer top program uh, move it or lose it senior trips uh, this new this year on Fridays we were going to various locations throughout the city and doing some sport on demand where kids can just drop by in their neighborhood and be able to participate in some sessions led by our summer students um, and then also offered three sessions of instructional swim um, on the master scheduling side obviously July is festival season as well so we had a lot of work in regards to uh, support to many of these different events including the fisherman's powwow um, the uh, Irish festival as well as the rock and roll festival um, the month of uh, July we also hosted it with along with Parasport New Brunswick the Parasport New Brunswick Roadshow uh, which offered a goal ball and wheelchair basketball at the Golden Hawk on a Sunday afternoon um, as well as we hosted the drag hazard tour at the Miramichi Eco Center on July the 30th um, I apologize these aren't in the report um, master schedule was off I was off on vacation never had the notes but I thought I'd highlight those um, so as busy as July is it's also the time at the end of the month where we start thinking of getting cooled off and starting an ice plant uh, so the Mamrishi Civic Center is uh, in startup mode we expect to have ice ready to roll for the Mamrishi Timberwolves fun hockey and other user groups starting this weekend coming um, on the capital side we've been busy trying to knock off all those capital projects I can confirm our gas pump is installed at uh, Station Wharf and we're offering gas services at the wharf um, the rink boards at Korean Park have been torn down and getting ready to go for the replacement with the new ones um, and the scoreboard has been installed as well as we uh, continue our work on the pickleball court surface as well as uh, we issued an invite a bid for the fencing for that project as well so all in all trying to knock off a lot of those capital projects get everything ready to roll for the fall and start moving forward uh, for our next round of projects for 2024 which would be considered in capital uh, budgets um, that's all I have to highlight right now if anybody has any questions feel free thanks thank you director I'll open the floor uh, Councilor Arsenault Thanks very much. Um, thanks, Director, for the support on uh, all the festivals that um, I know just from an Irish Fest perspective, they're really appreciated and uh, great work by all. So huge thank you there. Um, just one question, actually. Um, last year, we had voted, uh, there was a motion of council um, to install um, or provide, I guess, um, uh, sanitary products for women in all of our public buildings. And I haven't heard anything about that since that that motion so I'm just wondering if we can get an update as to where that's at I, I can't hear anything if someone's speaking uh, we're just trying to figure out who can answer the question okay very good thank you uh, through the chair to Councillor Arsenal I'm not sure which department that was put in uh, I believe that those were intended for City Hall possibly I'd have to get an update on exactly where that went but I didn't think they were for the recreation facilities I thought they were for the libraries and City Hall not really sure but we'll uh, we, we can follow up for sure thanks would appreciate it um, Councillor Ross Robinson oh thank you um, They are set up in City Hall, as far as I know. I don't know if they're in the ladies' washroom downstairs, um, but I don't know about other facilities. But I know that they've been installed for the better part of a year, I think. 
That's great. Yeah, no, I was just, I hadn't heard anything else about it. I thought it had been with uh, REF because I thought it was going into all of our public buildings, um, including our facilities. But if, if that's so, that's great. I just hadn't heard anything about it since. I don't know if that's the final answer, but that's what I know. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. You're reaching for a light there, uh, Director? Yeah, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was dealing with another matter at the time and I didn't hear Councillor uh, Arsenault's uh, question. But uh, no, they have been installed at the libraries and they've been in for the best part of a year. Uh, we started last October, uh, everything was put in place and as well as City Hall, those are the directives uh, of the buildings that I was uh, that I was indicated they were supposed to be at. So they've been completed. Perfect, thank you. Thank you, Councillor Arsenault. Um, Councillor Johnson. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, just to switch gears here a bit, I've been getting uh, questions regarding a uh, generic update on the state of the multiplex file. So, calls note version, could we have a, a brief update on where that file's at, please? And thank you. I'll take a shot at that. Um, my understanding is in September. Um, the engineering department will be bringing before council um, a recommendation as uh, to the hiring of a project manager and the preliminary sketches that the architects will have will, are finishing up on the site, the location of the building, and what the building could look like. Those are all scheduled, I believe, for September. Thank you. Any follow-up questions, uh, Councillor? No, thank you. I do appreciate that update from the manager. Okay, any other questions? Councillor Summers? Uh, thank you, Chair De DePlacey. I'm not sure if my question's for the manager or for uh, Director Walsh. Um, I'm just looking for an update on the status. I know we're going to be transitioning the farmer's market here in Newcastle eventually down to the Curling Club. Um, or eco center, whatever we want to refer to it as. Um, I'm just wondering if we have an approximate timeline on when we an anticipate that that move happening. I'm sure the people uh, that are involved with the market would probably like to know. Thanks. Uh, through the chair to Councillor Summers. So uh, we have uh, been in discussions with the market and with the bingo in regards to deadlines. And it was originally set at September 1st. Uh, we have moved to September 15th to allow for another event that's going on down there. Uh, we are in. Uh, we are in line for September 15th. I have had some correspondence since with the bingo, the requesting a little bit more time. Um, so it's kind of still a little bit uh, when they are actually going to move, but the mid-September, everything will be ready to roll for them to be able to go down there. And we are working with those groups to get them you know, moved out to the other facility so we can go ahead with the, the operation of the Eco Center fully with our user groups in there. Um, just more of a uh, appreciate the the response on that uh, director and uh, follow-ups just more of a comment I'd just like to uh, give you and your department my thanks uh, the scoreboard at Memorial Field looks really sharp and uh, I know it took a little bit longer for us to get it uh, set up this year than we anticipated but uh, appreciate the efforts from your department and uh, and from the rest of council that supported that project as well looking forward to seeing it in action hopefully tonight thanks Um, question from the chair, if there's no other ones. Um, no, okay. Um, <clears throat> I guess a question or a request on our, the programming that we offer, so summer camps, I guess, in particular, and perhaps the swimming as well. Do we do a evaluation piece, like, so the, the, the day camps, is there, is there surveys that are sent and kind of like, just like to get some feedback on, because there was a lot of shifts and changes, and I know we had concerns around the shifts and changes um, so I'd just like to get us to a bit of a report back on based on numbers um, and uh, any feedback that we're getting um, but I guess broadly or specifically the question is do we have an evaluation process um, to wrap up the year uh, to the chair so uh, we have had this discussion especially where we have had these changes to see uh, you know what type of input we get from our users and whether they like the changes and you know what could work better, what worked, what didn't. Uh, so we will be spent, once the uh, programs are done, we will be sending out an evaluation through our online registration system. Kind of a one-pager just to get some feedback from our uh, users of the, of the program. 
uh, numbers are easily tracked once we're finished up here. It'll be easy to find what the numbers are and how many children we have served. I do know in particular with the day camp that, you know, many of the weeks were full with the full amount of kids that were registered for it. Some were a little smaller than others, but overall we served a pretty uh, large section of families throughout the uh, city, but I will be able to bring that report back in the future along with any uh, types of feedbacks. I know some of the feedbacks we were getting was in regards to some of the changes in age more so than uh, the actual uh, program itself, but we do expect to do an evaluation and send out an evaluation form to our users. Yeah, and I think I heard that, but um, so there'll be a report um, to come back to maybe just as an appendix um, to this report, because um, it is a level of service that we, we adjusted, right? So I want to make sure that we're, we're responsible for that. Any other questions, comments, concerns from the floor? Seeing none, 